Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be week Pisces, Sun, Pisces, Moon and Pisces Rising weekly tarot reading July 9 to July 15, 2018. So, uh, before we start guys, um, <clears throat> I want to tell you that if you have enjoyed your uh, monthly tarot reading and you haven't noticed there is also an extended monthly tarot readings for July that can be purchased for just as little as one dollar and in those videos you are going to um, you're going to find out what is in there in store specifically for career and relationship for the particular star sign and that could be added additionally to the general tarot reading so you can you can obtain even more profound understanding of what is yet to come for you in July July. Those readings can be found on my website under the section of extended monthly tarot readings. So that set aside, let's go and see what awaits Pisces here. And the first card for your topic, that will be the moon card. And by the way, the moon card is the signature of Pisces. Then we do have the seven of wands that represents the, the core of the situation. Afterwards, we do have two of pentacles as a challenge. And last but not least, we do have the Sun card as guidance. So, for what it seems, you will have to deal with some enemies and with some rivals. That is displayed with the Seven of Wands, but when we talk about Seven of Wands, all right, it doesn't, it speaks that these enemies and these rivals are just emerging. So, the situation is not out of control yet, all right, and that week you need to manage that particular crisis because you need to know that when we talk about Seven of Wands into a core situation, it, it means that these things are going to escalate, guys, and you don't want them to escalate. The more you wait, the harder it's going to become to smother that opposition, to smother those people that are speaking behind your back or those who are infiltrating your domain in general, because that could be a, a third party who is whispering in the eye, in the ears of your partner in relationship and making them against you. You know, that could play out in a many different uh, roles. That could be your coworker who is constantly trying to fail you and is constantly speaking bad words for you in front of your bosses and you know about these people all right but for what it seems you are kind of thinking that the problem is going to go away on its own accord that is expressed here with the moon card all right it's not going to go uh, away on its own accord uh, you need to you need to basically attend to it so how this could happen how you can attend to the problem well, that is displayed by the Sun card, all right, and uh, in conjunction with the Two of Pentacles, it seems that that person or these, this society of people who is trying to bring you down or is trying to interfere with your performance and with your, with your job, they want something, but they kind of like, either they don't have the guts to tell you what they want or the, or they think that uh, you will not be willing to negotiate all right so that's why you need to show to those people that you are adaptable because the other uh, the adaptability here the versatility in general will be an issue for you uh, into that week all right so they will see you uh, moving on in a strict plan and it could be a part of your plan could be something that actually is gonna hurt their interest in certain way so you need to show in in front of the world and in front of those people in general that you are willing to negotiate that you're willing to uh, restructure your plan for example regarding your career and regarding your relationship in general so you are open for um, for options available you are open for negotiations it is all that is going to take to calm those people down and to bring them into the negotiations table and what happened ha what happens then here is the sun card as soon as you are capable to uh, start leading negotiations with them things are going to um, start resolving themselves on their own accord just then not with silent treatment but just on the contrary you need to speak about the problem you need to speak about the matter here all right and with the sun card it does look like that you uh, pisces are going to bury down the tomahawks of war and probably probably um uh, the, this card these couple of cards in conjunction speaks that you may attract those people to work with you instead against you so that could be a, a huge diversion of the um 
uh, of the adopted standpoint to the mother of your boyfriend, for example, that doesn't like you, well, she may start liking you now, you know, because you are actually start talking sense to her that you doesn't want to bring her family down, you are open to, um, you know, to change something in the relationship the way she like it, etc, etc. The bottom line here, Pisces, is, is that, uh, that this opposition needs to be... Uh, uh, kind of like uh, overcome with reason rather than with aggression because the aggression it, it will not work out guys it's just they are very very strong and for what it seems there is not much of a weaknesses you can you can take advantage of the <clears throat> the thing is that what they are going to take advantage of is your um, imagination and your um, your nature your fragile nature all right so they know exactly where to strike okay and as I said just as soon as you start experiencing these awkward feelings in those awkward circumstances, just confront those people. Otherwise, for what it seems, it, you will have a, a big troubles to resolve mon uh, a month or a couple of months from now. That being said, Pisces, this was your weekly tarot reading, guys, for July 9th to July 15th. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.